This is the second video of our first road trip in our Tesla Model Y down to Sand Hollow, Utah for the second annual off-road games. I took my three daughters and my friend Joey took two of his daughters, so we had a full Model Y on this trip. In the first video, we drove 3.5 hours down to Sand Hollow, then had a fun but very windy and cold first day of the event, where the first half of the contestants tried their hand driving up the 777's trail, then the exhibitions in the sand afterwards. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll link to it in a card above. Today's video is the second and third days of the event, where the second group of contestants go up the 777's trail and show their skills in the sand afterwards. Then we play in St. George at a fun park and Dixie Rock before watching the final challenges, including the Cybertruck in a tug of war with the Bombi and other shenanigans before we then drive home. I just barely unplugged our Model Y and it's charged up to 90%, but the weather, yeah, it is raining already today and it's gonna be wet out there. Is everybody excited for the off-road games today? Yeah! yeah. Okay. Let's let's go see how wet it is. Look at this beautiful view. I just love the, the how the sun is hitting those cliffs in the far distance there. This is Sand Hollow, the, the dam reservoir right there on the right side. We are now here at Sand Hollow and you can see this is where we were able to park right there. And the main event is happening over here at this parking lot. And we got here at 82% on the battery. And so the kids are already playing in the sand. Looks like the rain has uh, not been as hard over here because the sand actually is still looking on the dry side. And over here is uh, the reservoir. So we're gonna begin the hike over to the main event center and then actually we'll continue on past that because right now it is 10.04 a.m. and the actual off-roading event began at 10 in theory. So they're probably starting to right now. So we actually have to hike way past the event center over to the beginning of the trail. And they have shuttles like they did yesterday, but yesterday there were so many people trying to use them, it took forever. So we'll probably end up just hiking all the way to the beginning of the off-road route. So from this point, I don't know how far it is. I'll put it on screen, I'll measure it when I get home. <laughs> You're doing great, Clara. Keep running. Way over there. Okay, let's go. The reservoir seems a lot fuller than I'm used to. You can see here it's been eroding the bank, and they have picnic tables over here. That's in like in the water. Don't get your shoes wet. The sand will cake onto your feet like crazy if you get wet. I will say that this exhibitor resource area is a lot better place to visit today. There's minimal wind and the temperature is actually significantly warmer than it was yesterday. So we'll maybe even spend some time in here today checking out the exhibitors. All right, we've gotten through the exhibitor area. This is the main stage past this tent. And so over here, right over here is the tunnel. We're gonna continue on hiking. And I don't really know where the competitors are. It's 1030 now but we'll intercept them somewhere along the trail. Apparently the shuttles are on the other side of the tunnel today because it was too congested yesterday. We're gonna see if there is a shuttle available and then we'll walk if there isn't. There are shuttles here and there's not a long line of people waiting. So I guess the rain scared people away. So it turns out that this Humvee right here is the only vehicle they're allowing for kids today, or at least that's what the person said today. So we're gonna maybe wait and see how long it takes, but there's all these people for the Humvee and there's all these side-by-sides with nobody in them. So kind of a mess up today on the shuttle service. We'll probably end up hiking again. So we waited for 15 to 20 minutes and then we noticed that one of the other Humvees that had just departed broke down over here. And so the other Humvee was returning and picked up those people. So now three Humvees, uh, they have three Humvees here, but two are broken and they're shuttling people. And it's, I don't think very far. So we just decided to walk it. <laughs> it's probably gonna be faster anyway, which is a shame because they have so many shuttles today and they're like, there's tons of people backed up just waiting, uh, the drivers waiting for people. So uh, yeah, their shuttle situation here is not great. I'm sure it's been tricky and the situation's been changing for them, but it hasn't worked very well for us. How are you girls enjoying the hike? Cold. You're cold? Bad. It's not anywhere near as cold or windy as yesterday. I know. <laughs> Only my hands are cold. It would have been fun to be able to ride in that Hummer, huh? Uh-huh. It's a shame it broke down. We've gotten over the ridge and over this direction where you see those Jeeps, 
uh, that is the beginning of the trail. So that's where we were yesterday at the very beginning. But we're here a lot later today. Well, I guess to be fair, it's only 11.02. So they've been going for an hour now, but they seem to be going faster than they were yesterday because you can see the last couple of vehicles right there. So we need to get going so we can catch up with the main event, which is already about midway up, it looks like. So we have a bit of a hike ahead of us to do more quickly than we would have otherwise. From what I can tell, those people just got dropped off from the shuttle. I think they maybe were in line with us from what I can recognize from here. And we are over here and the trail is right there, but they are further up the trail. So did we save time? I don't know. We've now successfully climbed all the way up to here. And I just talked to a guy and the main event went by here maybe eight minutes ago. And that's the last of the vehicles right there. So we're just gonna go over this ridge and we'll be caught up. And we are about a third of the way up the trail. So we're gonna miss out on just the first third or so. Here's yeah, so we've hiked from way down there. It's now 11.15 AM and the event started at 10. And now we're right at the tail end, the whole crew. What she used there is that, that is a, uh, that's a saw shackle. And there's a specific way to do it. Called, right look like an old log. We're nervous about the cage breaking now. Uh, yeah, I would be. All right, here we go. They're using the wrecker's winch. We're up the race now. How fast can the, the Marvin hasn't even had to get out yet? Oh, he's cheating. He's in gear. Oh, he's bending the rules. <laughs> Somebody called you a crooked lawyer when you were sideways a little bit. Well, that's all behind me. You think there's rules, and in Mass Lake, Chicago, there are no rules. I have a question. Why did you want me to give him that duck? We are now relocating up to the next obstacle because most of the vehicles are through this one. This is that area yesterday where it was got really wide and there was multiple paths through, and that Jeep is taking the hard route. Marvin, does he have power steering? Barely. <laughs> I'm smelling. I'm smelling some power steering fluid. Looks like Marvin's doing a good job spotting him, keeping that rig together. All right, we're going to try a different route here. We've had the tangerine through this trail a bunch, and this is the way it goes through this. Perfect. When you get back to the shop, Matt, are you going to uh, weld the front end of this thing, or are you going to keep it open? We're going to keep it open until we get the one tons under it. Oh, this thing's getting one ton axle. Incredible audience out here. We're just kind of relaxed. 
this booster seat they made me is really comfortable. So I I'm this enjoying is myself. Diesel with a manual Everybody give it up for Rory and Laura. They're putting on the show. I did just notice that little booster seat. That's awesome. That's because Rory's like 9 foot 14 and nobody fits in his seat. That's good. So for this obstacle, this one is super technical and there is such a fine line. You have to have a lot of throttle control. And so you want your rear tire to come up here and he will do a little bit. His front passenger tire is gonna come up in the air a little bit and it's gonna feel terrible. I'm sorry, Kendall. I'll, I'll, it'll be fine, don't worry. You don't feel comfortable. I can always get in the driver's seat for you. I don't know if Robbie's a better driver. <laughs> That might be a lot worse of an idea. <laughs> well, at least if I damage it, I won't be mad about it. <laughs> the problem is, is finding somebody to repaint it if you ruin it. <laughs> Luckily, I have the secret paint code back in evening. So, I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to say let's let Kaylin do it, because she knows what she's talking about, and I have no idea. <laughs> All right, Kaylin is one. Who wants to see Kaylin get up this obstacle? <laughs> All right, I think it's I think it's time. Let's see what Caitlin's made of. It's a, that's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. All right, I guess I'm fine. Justin, if anybody doesn't know him, he is a stud. If it wasn't for that guy, this would not be what it is, this event. All right, she's in the driver's seat, putting on her seatbelt. she got, does that look like Lizzie in the passenger seat? Right on. I like it. Okay, Caitlin, we've got to ride this high, so make sure that we don't fall back into that, but we can't go too high because this passenger tire is going to be in this undercut. So let's keep it going just like that, straight, straight, straight. Okay, now I want you to go a little bit passenger, just like that. Let's see if she'll climb, see if she'll climb. Real easy, now driver, hard driver. Hard driver, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Hard driver. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep it hard driver. Hard driver. Okay, hold up right there. Look at this front end. Hopefully it gets to the top of that rock. If it can climb that, you might be in good shape. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. Okay, right there. Keep it driver. I want you to put. Hold on. Let's put deep pressure into the rock. Put your rear end in. Okay? And you're going to ease up. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Just like that. Let's go, driver. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful driver. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, real easy. Oh. Driver, I don't, driver. Yep, yep. Real easy here. Perfect, perfect, perfect.
Looks like the wind has begun for the day and I'm guessing we'll continue throughout the afternoon. Oh.
This is what people have been doing after they get up the chute. So that was the hole up at the top of the chute for a while. We're going back. No. Yeah, we're waiting in line to get the shuttle ride. No. So yeah, we're now in line this. for the shuttle. I don't look, Let's see how long this takes. Are you okay, Lucy? Hey, he made it. Did he get, were you guys in a really windy spot? Yeah. It has now been a solid hour since the main event finished, and the line for the shuttles is clearly <laughs> visible here. The wind is starting to increase and it's not raining yet so that's good. We are finally here in line. When we started we were down there and then you can see this is the end of it here. So I think we'll be getting on a shuttle in the next uh, I don't know 15 minutes or so. But yeah uh, not enough shuttles at least especially for the end of the event when everyone wants to go down to the bottom all at the same time. We are finally next in line. Yay! So how many times have you gone up and down? I have no idea. <laughs> Has it gotten old yet? No. Okay. It's only the second day. <laughs> <laughs> I still have one more. That's tomorrow, yeah. Okay. Well, yesterday, afterwards, we were, it took a while to figure out where the shuttle line was. Oh. And it was like crazy long already. So we just hiked down and the kids played in the sand and stuff on the way down. We were not in a hurry. It took us 46 minutes. Whoa. Today, we've been in line for an hour and 15 minutes and we were really early in the line, like right after the event, or before the event was done, we were like getting in line. Wow. So, there's people that are waiting probably two to three hours by the time this is done. Wow. Woo. Well, thanks for the ride. Sure thing. Woo. That was quite the ride. Woo. What did you girls think of that? Maybe, let's talk about it. This one was broken this morning when we got here and there apparently they never figured out how to get it fixed. <laughs> and I don't see the others running at all either, so they've completely abandoned the Humvees. Right now, we are just right across the road from the main event and we had a ton of fun coming down on those side-by-sides. We have about an hour and a half before the record games start over here and they're just doing dead pulls again like yesterday from what I understand and the kids have had enough fun for today, although I, obviously they're still <laughs> having fun right now, but they don't want to stay here. So we decided we're gonna actually head into St. George about a half an hour away, and there is a park called the Thunder Junction All Abilities Park. And so we're gonna go check that out and keep having fun on our trip. But this is such a beautiful location, I just love it. I just saw Heavy D Sparks pull by and there's a Cybertruck. 
I was not prepared to film, so you got all the wind noise. But look at that, they've got a cyber truck on the back of that truck, so it makes me want to stay. We haven't quite left yet, but I'm sure the kids don't care about that. They've been just having fun playing along the shore of the lake here. So that's cool. I hope that we see the Heavy D Sparks cyber truck tomorrow. Ah, that Jeep was buried. Thunder Junction, and I'll show you a little bit of what's inside. Coming! <laughs> 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 we got smushed! <laughs> <laughs> we got smushed together! <laughs> I thought he was going that way. Oh. <laughs> 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 Go Lydia, thanks for spinning them. I heard the train. I heard the train. All right. Let's go get on the train. Yeah, we're all caught up. Oh, Kara, barely. Oh, but we're not riding a lot. Nope, so it doesn't matter. How excited are you? Really excited. <laughs> this is a fun green engine here. Hey, girls, how excited are you right now? Yay! And we're off. Hey, Lucy. Is everybody having fun? Yeah! So this All Abilities car is free to enter. To ride this train is a dollar per person. And so I'm pretty impressed with the, the value of this place, frankly. Uh, it must have been built by donations or something because there's enough here. I don't think it's, um, it's nicer than a normal place that is free. We just finished eating dinner at the Cafe Rio over that way and then we came up this way seven minute drive and parked the Y right there and we are now in Pioneer Park and this is Dixie Rocket next to us so we thought we'd just come here and check it out. We've been here before and I've even put this, um, put this location into past videos that I've made but our friends haven't been here so we thought we'd show it to them. Do you want help? This rock? Yes. <laughs> There you go. Hey girls, it's the bridge. I've hiked to the bridge. What do you think of the view, get, girls? Scary high. Really What's the view of the city? Yeah, but it is That's really pretty. pretty. It is very pretty. The view from up here is just so spectacular. I love coming up here every time and just looking out across the view. And we've been here before while the sun is setting. Then you get all of the beautiful colors of the sunset. Ah, what is that? Ah. <laughs> you crazy kid. And just like that, the oh. sun is setting and it's getting dark here already. I was born 900 BC. Same! Okay. <laughs> okay, crazy girl. <laughs> well, we're heading back to the house now. I think we've all had a ton of fun here clamoring around on the rocks and the girls always love that. And that's why the off-road games is such a success with them. I'm tired, I'm grumpy, I'm cranky. Yes, I said cranky twice, it's very important. Girls, have you had fun here? Yay! We found this cool cave. See how dark it is. Ah! There's a house! There's a chimney over there. Yeah. So the door fell off. And I think that because it's made out of woods and has a chimney right there. Yeah. Maybe people lived in here. Maybe they did something in here like brick making or something. I don't know. Is everybody ready for day three of the off-road games? Yeah. yeah! The last one. The last day, that's right. So today we are going to go back into the park and they have the final competition. We don't really know what that's going to be yet. So we're going to go in and find out. The charge is at 83% right now. And when we plugged it in last night, when we got back to the house, it was at 66%. So we were able to get enough charge and we're going to be just continuing to charge off this standard household outlet all the way uh, until we go back home. 
and then we'll be using superchargers along the way home, of course. But I'm going to charge it up to 100% tonight when we get ready to go back home tomorrow. And as a point of reference, uh, the distance that we've been driving to Sand Hollow is only 10 miles, so a 20 miles round trip. But yesterday we did a bunch of extra driving going over into St. George and up to Dixie Rock, etc. So we drove more than we did the day before prior. But in any case, we're 83%. We'll see what it is when we get to Sand Hollow. You can see right here, we're parked right on the edge of the lake. And actually yesterday we parked just that way a little bit. So about the same, we have the same beautiful view here. Okay. And we got here with 78% on the battery. So that's how much it took to get here. And the girls want to take the route again along the side of the lake because they had so much fun doing it yesterday, both directions. So how excited are you for today? Yay. Very excited. Yeah? All right. Looks like they're doing something over here in the Wrecker Games area. So we'll go over there and check it out. We are here 14 minutes early, so I'm not sure why they're already started doing stuff, but we'll get closer and see what's going on. Oh, 
It was a bold strategy. We saw it work. Girls, what do you think? Good. Good. <laughs> you enjoying the show, Clara? Yeah. I really want that here. They have done fuck all.
Just the corner of it. <laughs> we're heading back to the exhibitor area. And the kids wanted to check out where all these trucks have been driving, tearing up the, the sand. <laughs> and the, the trenches out here are significant. Did you have fun this trip, Clara? Uh -huh. Awesome. Lydia, did you have fun coming to the off-road games? Yes. <laughs> Great. How about you, Lucy? <laughs> Girls like pigs? Sure. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Is he scratchy? <laughs> Did you think the pig was going to be soft? Kind of. Kind of? Touch him again. Tell me what he feels like. He's scratchy. That's how pigs always are. <laughs> At least in my experience. Lydia, did you touch him? Try touching him. We've walked through the entire exhibitor area up and down all three aisles. At this point, we feel like we've seen everything here that we want to see, so we're gonna take off. We're not gonna wait around all afternoon for the raffle, and we're gonna go do some other things in St. George while we're here in town. Well, scratch that for at least a few more minutes. The kids wanted to play in the sand more, so they're doing that. <laughs> Don't throw sand at each other. Wow, good job, Lucy. What are you doing, Clara? I just found a cave of dry sand. You found a cave of dry sand? Yeah. Yep. Go, Lucy. <laughs> Go, Clara. Oh, How's the water? Kind of cold. Kind of cold, yeah, that's unsurprising. It'll go over your head eventually. Wave your arms and celebrate the off-road games. Those mountains in the distance are just beautiful with a white cap on top of snow. And then there's some red rock cliffs just beneath. What a striking backdrop Sand Hollow has. Look at that, I can see you sinking. I'm already stuck. Are you stuck? I don't can see that. We're gonna have to leave you here. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> I've got hairy legs. No, oh, yes you do. Very hairy legs. Where'd you get your sticks? Found it. Nice. After the off-road games finished, we went to the same park we went to yesterday, which is the Thunder Junction All Abilities Park. And then they wanted to come back here to Dixie Rock as well. So we parked the model way there, and they've just been clamoring around on the rocks still. And this is that Pioneer House I showed last time we were here. And this is interesting. You can see the top of it here. So it was two big rocks, and they've concreted the roof of it, basically. And then over here is the chimney that's in the back of that in your house. Hello! How are you? How are you? <laughs> and then also here behind the chimney they've had to stack up rocks to complete this back V shape. So it definitely was a natural um, protected area and the, I think they've probably etched out some parts of the rock on either side and then they had to fill it in up here to make it a fully enclosed cave. So we have come down to the entrance of the Pioneer Cabin again and look how much water there is now. It clearly rained quite a bit here since we were here yesterday. Girls, where are we? In the Pioneer Cabin! Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's where we just were. Yesterday we needed a little light to get through here. Was right. Oh yeah, it was pitch black yesterday. It was near sunset when we were here yesterday. Are we going in the black now? 
Yep. Let's go up here and see how narrow it gets. Whoa! She's dancing up there. Wait, change, go left. Yeah, you can Yeah, get us in the books. Holy cow, how is someone going to get up there? Kind of climb. I love this part. <laughs> Climbing. Go, Lucy. Where Good job, Clara. You got this. You did. Go, Lydia. Go, Lydia. Good job. Where are you going, Lucy? In the crack. Oh, that looks narrow coming up. Me too. I'm going. All right. Let's go check it out. The kids have actually no problem getting through this. But the adults on the other hand have a little bit more of a struggle. And in some places you have to get low to be able to fit through. You have to get down on your knees because it's wider at the bottom. Makes sense. Are you guys stuck? Nope, not yet. Yeah. That's how that's a good way to put it. Not yet. Hey girls, say hi. Hi. I can't remember. <laughs> how are you guys doing down here? I'm too scared. Where's it go? I can't. Oh hey. Hey Lydia. What are you doing in here? Okay. It's squishier. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> oh I know. Here's the long narrow section. Good job, girls. You're doing it. How are you guys doing? Doing good. All right. At least I am. I don't That's know fun. about that. <laughs> <sighs> Made it. They can. Out of That's the fine. woods. Out of the I'm tight spot. The oh, hey, Lydia. Oh, oh, hey, Lucy and Clara. Yeah, you good job. You guys had no problem. I could go like this the whole way. <laughs> I didn't have to turn. You could turn around even. Are you used to turning? It was tight. Are you having fun on the strip, Lydia? Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the Great. Arch. What a great view, huh? Let's We're gonna go to that arch. There's an arch right over that way. We got to the arch, and it turns out it has a little arch on this side, and then around over here on this side, it has the main big arch. And there's one over there. Oh. Oh yeah, little arch right there. We are back to the house, and I've plugged it in. And you can see we're still at the 90% charge uh, limit and we're charging at one kilowatt and we're at 61%. So we drove more today than I anticipated. And so it's estimating 18 hours and 35 minutes to get up to 90%, which is fine because as you can see here, we have plenty of range to get uh, to the superchargers we need. So this is the Beaver supercharger um, up this way right there. And so we could even stop here in Cedar City if we needed to. Um, but we're probably going to stop in Beaver. We'll have enough charge to get there and then we'll continue on from there. And I estimate that we are probably going to be leaving here in roughly 15 hours. So I think we'll be probably in the 80 percentile, 85 percentile range by then. Hey girls, what are you watching? Video. video. Your video. What video? Your video. The one we made. Of the first day of the next day. 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 That's awesome. You get to watch the video of the trip that while is still on the trip. Yeah. Have you had fun on this trip? Yeah. You glad you came? Yeah. It is now 9.28 a.m. the next morning and the battery got up to 81%. You can see right there. However, something funny that I just discovered, you'll notice over here, I'm now charging at 10 kilowatts. And I, I've stayed in this house many times and I'm just now discovering that they have an electrical pedestal over here. This bush used to be more built out, and I guess they've trimmed it back. And I just totally discovered they have a NEMA 1450 outlet right here that I could have used all the times we've stayed here instead of that um, 15 amp outlet around the back. So that's good to know for future reference. In any case, I still have it set to 90%, and you can see it's saying 45 minutes to get there, you know, get up 8% or if I change this to 100%, and now it's estimating more like two hours. In any case, we'll get what juice we can. We have enough to get to the next supercharger, so I'm not concerned about it. But for future reference, I'm loving this because now we'll be able to charge here super fast and fully charge overnight easily. Here you can see we ended up getting to 92% on the battery because I plugged it into that faster outlet for just a little while, and it's now 10.33 a.m. 
And so we're gonna go to a local park first and then we'll continue on to home. We are coming to a new park today. This is one that I came to about three years ago. And it's this really cool ninja obstacle course and sprint line right here. And there's a cool slide that goes down the hill over there. So I'll just show you a couple of highlights of this park and then we'll get on the road and head home. Go Clara. <laughs> you got this Clara, good job. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> Go Lucy! Watch this one, Sheila. It's so wobbly. Abby! What happened? Hmm. You're almost done, Lucy. Go, go, go. You go on the other side and I'll go on this side. Yay, you made it. Cheater, Lydia. <laughs> hey! Hurry, get there. Okay. Whoa. Let's <laughs> 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 right. Okay. Dad? Yeah. Oh, I Go, Lucy! Hey, let's see how fast we can run over this. <laughs> Good job, Lucy. Give me five. <laughs> Lydia and I are going to race. On your mark, get set. Good job, Lydia. <laughs> uh, you barely beat me. Back. All right. <laughs> and I win the second time. <laughs> Lucy and Clara are gonna race. Go. <laughs> no one get on. This is a fun bridge. I'm so yeah, scared. Don't. 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 Go me. Go me. Go me. Go me. Yeah, you got this, Claire. Are you excited for the drive home? Yes. All right, let's get going. We had lots of fun playing at the park and we're back at the house for a little bit and now we're leaving to head home. So I just wanted to point out that we are departing here at 89% and we are at 336 watt hours per mile on this whole trip so far, having come down, so over 423 miles. And so now we're routed back home and it's having us stop at the supercharger in Beaver. And we're here at the Beaver supercharger and I've already plugged in and it's already peaked. It was at like 213 kilowatts up here. We got here, I think around 27%, uh, I think. Right now it's estimating that we need to be here for 30 minutes before we continue on our way, but I'll probably just charge enough to get to the Nephi supercharger and then we'll continue. We are now at the Nephi supercharger and we ended up arriving at 4%. We had a little bit of a headwind and so it dropped down more than I expected. And so we actually had to drive a little slower because of that. And right now it's estimating 55 minutes, but that of course is to charge completely full and we don't need that. So right now it's estimating five minutes to be here before we have enough energy to get home. And this is the charge rate right now. So we're getting 245 at 6%. And because we're such a low state of charge and the battery is fully warm. Yep, exactly. I expected us to get to the full of 250 kilowatts, which is the maximum expected charge rate. And I've seen it as high as 261, but there's other environmental variables that allow for that. And so far on this trip, this is our energy consumption over here. 
you can see we're at 358 watt hours per mile. All right, after being here in Nephi for just a little bit, uh, we are at 45% and we're still at 120 kilowatt charge rate though. And we've overshot the mark a bit, but we were just getting ready to go and, and exploring the area. So we're at 23% arrival. And so we're gonna take off now. We're back home. Hey, James. Finally, James. Yay, we're back home. Yes. You miss us? <laughs> I missed you. We are now back from that trip and it was a blast. We had tons of fun and it was a unique trip for me. I have never gone on a trip like that with another uh, guy friend and with some of his daughters and have all these girls, uh, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, I think everyone would agree with that. Everyone's obviously out of the car now. We've already dropped our friends off at home and so I didn't get a final hurrah out of them, but I'm sure they would have. So let's look at the car stats. We ended up getting home at 19%, which is slightly less than originally estimated, but we also went over to their house and that wasn't all factored in, and that's fine. Uh, down here, this is the final stats for the trip. So we used, uh, uh, on average, 359 watt hours per mile over 697 miles, and we used 250 kilowatt hours to go all the way down to St. George and back and all of the extra driving around town that we did while we were there. Overall, I'm very pleased with the performance of the Model Y and especially its charging speed, of course, and the roof box definitely diminishes overall range and we'll continue proving that out in the future, but you saw the watt hours per mile. Uh, it definitely is a significant reduction. And that reduction is evidenced right here. As you can see, our average for the last little bit was 342. The average for the whole trip was 359. So it's in the same general vicinity and you can see the dotted line is that average and the solid line is what this car is rated to get normally. I think it's down closer uh, to like 265 or something like that. You can see we're a bit above that. So it's, it's diminishing our range, unfortunately, but that's the nature of aerodynamics. I've heard before that 234 watt hours per mile is what Tesla assumes you will get, but I've heard that it's more realistic to get 275 watt hours per mile. So being at 359 watt hours per mile for this whole trip is quite high. In any case, it got us there and it charged quickly. So as long as superchargers are close enough together and you can stay in that uh, optimal charge curve at the beginning of the state of charge of the battery, it's, it's hopefully not going to add too much extra time onto our next trip. So in any case, I hope it was fun to be able to see the off-road games and our uh, adventures that we did outside of that, as well as the off-road games and the Tesla Model Y getting us there and back. It's cheaper and far more convenient to charge electric vehicles at home. Supercharging prices have about doubled since we purchased our Model S five years ago. For the supercharging we utilized on this trip, it would have cost us $50.98 to acquire 162 kilowatt hours if we didn't have free supercharging. Then the rest of the energy at 10 cents per kilowatt hour would have cost about $8.80. I do love how electric vehicles can be charged from slow but cheap sources of electricity, such as the house we stayed at, but there's also the option for fast energy but at a premium price. To drive 697 miles, the total energy cost would have come to about $59.78 for 250 kilowatt hours. And so I hope it was fun to be able to see our fun adventure that we had and the, you know, the in between things that we did with the Tesla Model Y and driving around and the, and the other parks as well as at the off-road games itself. And so with that, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.